Uh, welcome back to day 24 of 75 Heart, man. Beautiful day outside today. Been editing all morning. YouTube's going crazy. If you're new, if this is your first time clicking into the series, hit that subscribe button, hit that like, make a comment. Give me some suggestions of workouts I can do, whatever it is, anything that, you know, crosses your mind. I love making these. I hope I want you guys to see me as a influence that can help you become a better version of yourself, especially with the summer coming. I want I want to be someone you can look up to to want to be similar in a lot of aspects. Never compare yourself to me. Look at attributes and characteristics that I have that, you know, could serve you as well. Because growing up, that's what I did to get to the point of life I'm at right now. A lot of negative things on YouTube, a lot of negative things overall on social media. So, you know, very hard to distinguish the good from the bad and the bad from the good, right? But make sure that whatever you watch or whatever is entertaining you, that you do at least learn something from it. From the people you watch, make sure that it's not just pure entertainment, but that you are also being educated, informed, and, you know, being able to take these lessons or things they say or things they do into your own lifestyle that will help benefit you. And if you don't know what 75 Heart is, a lot of people ask what it is, whether that's you know in person or on Instagram or YouTube comments, whatever it is. 75 Heart, I'll run it down real quick. I did it in the first video, so go check back the, the first video if you really wanna more in depth of what I'm doing and stuff and how it started. But basically what you need to do, one, one workout outside, one workout inside a day, three liters of water, 10 pages of a book, stick to a diet, and take a progress photo every single day. Those are the requirements you can add, but you can't change things. What I've added is uh, daily uploads on YouTube. Just, you know, documenting basically just the workout portion because the reading, you know, reading in the water and the diet, it's all, you know, implemented into my daily life. If you're wondering what the diet I'm doing is, I'm doing intermittent fasting. If you look at day one to five, I did a five, I started the whole challenge with a five day fast. Now I'm doing intermittent fasting. That was just a good introduction to get me back into the state of fasting. <clears throat> so basically, you know, you fast when you sleep and then I don't eat until, I'm start, I, I started low, but eventually, you know, as I plateau in weight, I increase it within the coming weeks. But I give myself like a time frame around, you know, two to, like I, at least two I can start eating. Sometimes, most of the time I don't start eating until like three or four or whatever. But um, minimum two. And then as, you know, my weight plateaus, I can extend it to four or 5 p.m. Whatever, whatever's working. Regardless, it's intermittent fasting, so you don't eat breakfast and you basically don't eat lunch either. You kind of, you know, skip those two meals so you put your body in that fasted state. And what that does is it helps you not eat as many calories because if you have a shorter time at which you can eat throughout the day, it's gonna be a lot harder to get all those regular calories that you were you know, getting when you wake up and you eat, right? Say you sleep eight hours a day, you have a 16 hour period where you can eat. So what you do is you just cut it down more. So maybe you cut it to eight or nine hours a day. Uh, you allow yourself to eat. In this way, say you don't eat until three and then you, know, you go work out, you eat a meal that gives you you know, five, six, seven hundred calories, and then you go to the gym, so you preoccupy, you, you know, you busy yourself, so then when you come back, it's gonna be later in the day, and you're not gonna have, you know, you're gonna have very little time to fit in a whole bunch of calories that would put you in a surplus. That's what I do, at least. Some people, you know, they wake up and work out. For me, I just find it better because, you know, <clears throat> around two, three, four, I eat my first meal, take some form of caffeine, which suppresses my appetite, then I go work out. It's 5.42 right now. The goal of today is we're gonna do some zurchers. Like I said, I've been getting back into zurchers, zurcher squat. If you don't know what zurchers are, you're gonna find out in this video, stay tuned. Um, I'm just getting back into getting heavier. And then we'll do some legs because it's a leg uh, compound lift. So we took our pre, we're gonna let it kick in for about 15, 20 minutes. We'll meet you at the gym. So, starting with one plate, like always. Like one time I was talking to Victor, like the first vlog, that you, I think we did together when you were recording. I, I had music playing, but the thing was on my neck. So like the whole time Victor's talking, you just hear my whole song. And I'm like, I'm, I'm learning still. Actually, let me do core first. Quick. Yeah, just to like get it primed up. Always forget. And some dead hangs. Bro, my legs are touching the ground now. <laughs> oh. 
Yeah, that's crazy. Cause it like decompresses your, that's crazy. Hold up. Um, what do I gotta do now? I'm too tall now. No, cause I need the dead hang. Like look, look my feet in here. Watch this. That's crazy. What if I do flat foot? Look at my feet, bro. Oh, that's crazy. It just decom. I feel pretty good now. I, yeah, now I'm tall. <laughs> Low key, that, that, that is true though. Like, cause you get so compressed, compressed, compressed. You probably like get a little shorter. Yeah. Let's do it. Feeling good. I swear that decompression actually helped a lot. <laughs> Holy. What did I do, like a minute there? No, I want to like start PRing like the fourth or fifth session. I'll probably. I think that'll give me enough time. But I don't know. I basically, I'm just going in my. I just overestimated, I guess, a little bit. Yo, check this out. I don't know. Bro, look at this. 790, bro. Yo! This okay. video, bro, this what? short, this short's at 108k now. Let me see, let me see. It was at like 40k this morning. It was like 40k this morning and, and then it was going like five. Is that the skit with a... Uh, yeah, like the matching one. The matching? Yeah, yeah. YouTube's crazy too. I needed that. That's a good... Uh... Yeah. Let's take that one. Easy. I'm gonna take that that uh that one. All right, we're switching to this. This <laughs> spot is way better. That spot just too like too crowded. I don't want to get people in the vlog either. Build the kind of life that says I told you so without having to say a fucking word. Every fucking negative comment should trigger you into productive action. Hit this for five or two three sets. Three, three, yeah, three sets. Oh <laughs> um, I thought it was three sets. I want to get this for five. Well, three to five at least uh, for set two two sets. So yeah, let's do it. Let me just get a song going. Tip. I'll try, I'll do another set though for uh, I'll do another set. I think I just had my my arms uneven right there. Yeah, we'll do I'm gonna take a few minutes and try that again. We got three at least, so I couldn't just stop on that one. Too much energy when you have it lifted already like that. The amount of energy you have to exert to just pop it up takes a lot. So it's like to get two more sets after that of five is a lot more difficult. So
that last set kind of gassed me. Plus the readjustment in there, but hey, there's still quality reps. How many reps we do overall? We did six reps. It's just unfortunate the readjustments and shit. But um, overall not bad. That's another thing too, like, since I'm relearning it basically, like, I'm taking it slow. If I were to go like crazy heavy, you know, I don't have every, like, I don't have the steps down pat yet. I don't have the positioning down pat yet. Or the movements or the break, like, I gotta get back in the groove of that. So that's why we're doing light like that. Not light, but lighter than what I can do to get back into it for reps. The more reps you do, you know, the better you get. The, uh, the more controlled I can be with a heavier weight as I do these heavy sets. So we're gonna be finished up with Zertus here and then we're gonna go do, we'll stay here, but we'll do split squats. What up? Nah, doing reps. I just been doing sets of this. I'm just getting back into these. Rafi, bro, how you been? You leaning down, bro? You're looking crazy. Your triceps are popping. You cutting weight? I can see in the face too, that's sick. I almost last like 15 pounds. Ooh, good uh, shit, bro. Now one good shit. 79. Damn. Yeah. Hell yeah. Abs popping there or not yet? Almost. Soon? Almost. Yeah, yeah. I can see in the arms got leaner. Like yeah, the veins arms, coming out. Legs, the tries. The face for sure, yeah. Good shit, bro. Almost there. What are you doing today? Like day. Ooh, same. I'm about to do some split squats. Hell yeah, bro. Get that working, bro. You see a lot, Take it easy. Love to see it. Love to see the cuts, bro. Love the community. Okay, now we're gonna switch over to split squats. We'll stay here, but uh, I'm gonna drop down to a plate. Honestly, my favorite leg workout, besides zerchers, split squats. And I never, I, I never started doing them until recently, so. I think that's what I'm, that's, that's it for split squats. I'm gonna do uh, RDLs. RDLs, yeah. Oh, no way. Oh, boy. What up? What are you doing? No way. You got the Young LA yes. set? I have that beater. I, oh, I, I almost wore it today. Isn't, aren't they crazy, the Young LA oh, beaters? So yeah, you got a whole fit, okay. Yeah. Okay, you dripped out. Even this. You dripped out, yeah. yeah. Okay. What are you saying? It's hard fit. I'm do, I did some zerchers, I'm doing some legs. What are you doing? That's uh. <laughs> Let me get it. Rafi. Full yeah, squad, bro. bro. Hey, how's work, man? What, how's life, bro? I am seen you never, bro. And me, we got so fucking skinnies. Yeah, and no, you both look crazy healthy. Yo. Crazy, bro. You know, we got Hell yeah. The blue on blue is crazy. Yeah. I, I seen those. Those are new, eh? Those pants? I think. Yeah. yeah I, I got them recently. They're I sweet. Pack, uh, comfy? Like, yeah, bro. yeah. Very comfortable. <laughs> Azal got these, I'm gonna try them out. So what, like, like this? Oh, I always wondered how these worked. Like this? Just like, hold it straight. Like that. Mm. Yeah, these are nice, yeah. These are crazy. Yeah, the leather is nice because like the straps are like, I mean, usually you're like, even with straps, you're holding onto the neural still. But the, the leather is nice, hell yeah. I'll catch you before I leave them. Appreciate it, bro. I'll go heavy. Yeah. <laughs> 
Right. These are great. I love these. Yeah. I will. Those are quality. These are crazy. I gotta get a pair eventually. Um, that's gonna do it for us at the gym today. I basically just stayed at the squat rack. We did what, zerchers, split squats, RDLs. And then I gotta run too, so. Yeah, no point to do machines and I'm gonna restore it. Right? I'm probably gonna go eat a little bit first and then uh, we'll catch you when we're running. Peace. All right, we finished up at Smokey's, smack and food. The Armenian chicken with the rice, crazy. Brought my mom there for the first time. She loved the food. Uh, legs are shot from today, I won't lie. Definitely need some stretching. <clears throat> we're gonna do what we did yesterday. We're gonna do a few minutes just to warm up and some stretches, do a lap, and then uh, finish off with 10 minutes of jump rope. I really like that combo. <laughs> Oh, 2.7, sub 13. Reaching new paces, man. Feeling amazing. I need to take my sweater off. Hands are freezing, but body's sweating, man. Another beautiful day to live. Another beautiful day to give your praise and gratitude towards God. We're still not done yet. Gotta do our 10 minute High intensity jump rope session with my legs sore as a mother But hey, I ain't complaining. We don't complain out here. All we do is we work and we, we create the results. The results don't make us, hell no. We make the results. Our discipline, our consistency, that's what makes us. I'm out here every day, man. No one else is. And I don't say that to Oh, those bats, birds. I don't say that to compare myself. The only person I compare myself and the only person you should compare yourself to is yourself. That is the only valid answer. Once you start comparing yourself to other people, you steal the joy of your own success. The moment you start comparing, the moment you start you know, looking at yourself and maybe comparing to someone else online, that's how you yourself give away your joy. That's how you have it stolen from you. And that's the devil's work, that's not God's work. God will make you work for these things. God will teach you delayed gratification through the things that you have to work through. Like your body, there's no shortcut. You can take steroids, man, you can. Guess what? You still have to put the work in. Steroids aren't just gonna make you bigger than everyone. They're not just gonna implode you in your muscles, no. There's plenty of people who are on steroids that I'm bigger than. And I don't say that to compare myself. You still have to put the same amount of work in, maybe even more, arguably, because now you have to take in consideration of your health. You should as well when you're natural, but you know, when you're injecting, you know, steroids into your body, you gotta get your blood work done, man. You gotta, you know, take care of your body and your health and make sure that you're, you know, everything's okay and safe. My point being is, you know, God will teach you to delay gratification. And a lot of the people you see, you know, they're training for a year or two years and then they start, they hop on something. They're looking for the short-term gratification. And through that, God will teach you a lesson, man. Work, work, work your fucking ass off. And appreciate every single day. Give God gratitude for all the good and bad things, both equally. I always like to start off with gratitude in my prayers, especially with the bad things. Thank you for, like, you know, whenever something bad is going on, I pray. Whenever something good is going on, I pray. And I tend to thank him for the bad things first, because through the bad things, I get all my lessons to enjoy and get to the good things. Keep that in mind.
Let's do our 10 minutes. Oh, all right. Just finished up. It's 11 o'clock right now. It's late, man. I gotta go home and edit this shit right now. Good ass vlog today. Crazy leg day. Crazy smokies like always. Crazy run. Got chilly tonight though. It was a chilly day today, I won't lie. I need that sun back on, man. I need to get my tan going. Mm, we're getting leaner each and every single day. Weight's cutting. We're getting to mid 180s about right now. Still got a decent amount to cut down. Another 10, 15 pounds. Ideally, I wanna get shredded. It'll calm though, with consistency like I always say. Nothing good is ever handed quickly, nor is it easy. So, you know, the harder we, har the harder we work, the more consistent we get into the new things we try. You know, at the end of the day, it's all God given, all of it. Thank God for another beautiful day. Thank God for another episode of 75 Hard. Thank God for all of you watching. I hope you're all doing well. I hope, you know, you had an amazing day as well. I hope you got active. I hope you hit the gym. I hope you you know, did something productive. You know, if you didn't hit the gym, making that money, you know, helping some people out, doing something positive, not negative, not doing no no dumb shit, only good shit, only things that help you or others. That's key. With that being said, we're gonna close off day 24, man. Crazy to think, it's already 24 days and feels so long, but so short at the same time. But yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. For day 25, everybody take it easy. God bless. Peace.